It's Barney. Hello, Barney. Hello, mate. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're lovely, aren't you? So I'm just getting a cheeky bit of muck out now. Uh, just filled the muck spreader behind me from the shed where the TB cattle were. You saw the other day up when they came, I started taking a bit of muck out. I'm up against it because they're going to plough the maize field probably today or tomorrow. So I'm just taking the last little sort of load out really. Pretty well got the shed empty now. They were quite pleased about that. I didn't film. I wasn't thinking. I didn't think about filming the uh, muck muck out cleaning out shed. So this is going to be sprayed out with disinfectant at some point, but got this out. It's going out on the maize ground. Let's go and take it out there. We'll have a quick look before they plough it. Hopefully I'll catch the plough, but I don't know for sure whether I'll be around when he does it. Look, that's when he used to have tax discs. Rum, 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 rum. Hey ho, let's go. Okay, let's get out and have a quick look at what's going on. Okay, so you pretty well probably watched this over the years of us growing maize on this field and, and some people have commented quite rightly, you know, is it a good idea to do continuous maize on a field? And, and I can honestly say, no, it's not ideal. Uh, I totally get that. Crop rotation is, is something that a lot of people do. Um, but we've carried on growing maize here for two reasons, really. The primary reason is, and the same with the other field that we call under the hill, is the... Um, is the fact that we don't have any water troughs in these fields uh, so there's no water for the cattle so we can't really bring cattle along here the other reason is if we rotate the, fe the fields to another place uh, we can't really bring the it's, it's too smaller fields to bring cattle along here like the heifers to leave them here for a month or so without having to cart a lot of water to them but also it means we give up fields which are in a really easy location for um, the grazing of the cattle because we can re rotate them round fields when the grass does run out whereas here if we bring them here we've got to flip and take them back and we can't run them along the road so we'd have to transport them in our cattle box it would just take forever uh, we have grown um grass in here in the past and it's, it's done very well but um that's the primary reason because it's not very good for us to put the cattle here the secondary reason is it seems to work um we still seem to be getting very good crops of maize off it uh, it has a lot of muck. You can see I've been putting muck on it. Um, it's got a good aspect. It's, it gets the sun early in the morning, so you know the crop starts growing quite early. Um, but we seem to, it seems to be okay. If we do at some point get a problem, we will have to stop and rotate it, and, and I'd like to do that. But um, for practical reasons, it's just staying as maize. But you can see here, it's amazing over the winter how it regenerates. Look at this. We haven't put anything down here, and it's come back almost like a grass field with muck on it. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to put this muck on here in a minute, what we're going to do, we're going to plough this uh, and it'll, be, it'll that'll flip that over and that'll be underneath. The interesting thing is, uh, we have sprayed it in the past when it's got really long, but I find I think we can get away with just turning it over without spraying it. That saves us a cost. Um, sometimes they have a, a, they do spray the weeds just when the maze is up because you do get a few weeds come up but generally speaking I think we can get away without spraying this which is a brucey bonus from a farming point of view right so anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna put this load out here I would like to think that I would catch the guy um, plowing but that's not a given because 
Um, I'm not sure when he's going to come, and he, last time I missed him, and I couldn't help that. It's a bit of a shame because I would have liked to have got a video of it, but um, if I don't know they're coming and they come out here, oh, I've missed them. So, anyway, I'm just going to spread this last load out. load on I'm not gonna put any more muck out here now hopefully it'll be plowed pretty soon and uh, I'll either see the plow or I'll see the end results of the plowing but in the meantime it's a selection of weeds and grass and muck crack on Well, I'm just about to nip along the road. I've just come along in the car because I believe they're ploughing our maize field today. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna, I've missed them or whether they, they haven't started or, or whether, they, well, I'm not sure what's happening. It's today it's been ploughed, but uh, hopefully I'll catch a bit of it on video, but I just thought I'd stop on the way along because I can just see here, they're um, doing silage here. Look, this is our neighbor's field. This is probably going to go into something else, probably maize or something. Because they, look, they've got the dung there. There's a dung heap here, ready to go. And this is normally in some sort of arable crop. I'm just wondering whether it's going to be a quick lay, cut and plough job. Um, they're rowing it up now. They're obviously going to pick it up today. Well ahead of our. Well, I'll do them a favour. I'll pick that bit of plastic up out of there. They don't want that in there, in their silage. That's the trouble. Look, this is what happens when people chuck rubbish onto the flipping field gateways but um look he's down there nice crop of grass early for may we won't be cutting for at least a couple of weeks but if you get a new layer you get a lot of youth and vigor so um you can get sort of uh you can get yourself a crop early look he's just coming up now can we just see there's a big turner on the back of there look at the size of that Oh, the birds are singing. Can you hear that? I might have a just quick look when he comes up. Because he'll turn here, look. So I'll just get a little shot of him before we go and see what, what the situation is with our, our maize feed, whether it's been ploughed or not. Here he comes. Getting a bit closer now. Look, I'm just zooming in on that. It's very bright. I'm looking at this for a little mini screen on my camcorder, and it's quite hard for me to actually see in this bright light what I'm filming. <laughs> But uh, I think I've got quite a good shot. Look, I've captured them in there nice and close. That's a lovely new tractor, New Holland. Uh, I haven't seen which one it is yet. Is that a TZ7? God, my eyesight's rubbish. It's a T7. Look at that. Let's see if I can... Is he going to lift that up? Look at that. Could be a kit that, isn't it? So a bit walking and, and filming, it's a bit wobbly. Bear with me. Look at that, straight down on it. Coming straight out of the back there. But nice and steady, quite relaxing job that. All right, I'm gonna leave them to it. Zoom right out. Let's go and have a look at our maze field. So I'm just gonna just gonna head up to there. Um, fingers crossed there when ploughing or I might just come across a ploughed field or I might come across stubble you decide okay so well I just just as I um, was about to come along to the field I got called back to the farm so I had to go and sort something out 
Uh, so a bit delayed coming back. Um, in the meantime, quite interesting, over the hedge, they've started foraging now, look. I'm just, this is still the neighbours, look. He's down there foraging. He's got a, a lovely Massey on the front there. And uh, the forager there. New Holland forager, yellow. It's funny that the New Holland tractors are blue and the foragers are yellow. But uh, so that's just over the hedge there. And then um, I'm back over in our field and they've started plowing. I think you stopped for lunch actually. I'm going to walk on up, go and see the tractor. So he's ploughed half of it, which is good. Oh, there's a big lump of grass there. But the rest, you see, I mean, that, that's flipped over nicely, hasn't it? All that muck's gone underneath. And uh, you can't see a blade of grass on the top, which is what you want. So let's go and have a look at the plough. Just walking up here now, it's really crumbly soil, look at it. It's got a little bit of clay in it, because it smooths off there, look. And it's still, it's still reasonably damp, but uh, it's still got a lot of sand in it, I saw. Keep going up. You know, look at the difference there, look. Half and half. How well that turns over, did not it? Turn over beautifully. Well, hey, I'm up here. Terry's having his lunch. I'm not going to disturb him, but we're going to have a look at the actual plough because it, it, because it's not moving. We can have a look. Look at this. This is a Cavernland plough. I know nothing about ploughs apart from this five furrow reversible. So we can have a close up look. Got a tire on the back. The good thing about it is all the look, it runs smooth on there just the friction on the dirt. You'll see it going later, I'm going to nip back when uh, when it's going and we'll have a look at it going up and down. But uh, And there's the hydraulics to flip it over, big lot of hydraulics on the back of there. There we go, so there's the plough, we will come back later and see it in action. It's Barney, hello Barney! Hello mate, hello. Hello. Oh, you're lovely, aren't you? Hey, Barney. You all right? You can be a good boy. Off you go. Here you go. Right, I'm just got to go back, sort some more stuff out, and I shall be back to see. Oh, hello, Barney. <laughs> you're not supposed to be coming home with me. I know Harry would love to, love you. Go on, back. Oi, come on, off you go, go on, Barney, oi, oh, go on. <laughs> oh dear, Barney, right, I'll be back, Terry's finishing his lunch, I'm going to come back and we'll have a little look at the ploughing when he's had his lunch, crack on. Well, look, in a nick of time. Yeah. 